I'm Anne Hudson and I'm a member of St Peter's Church family and I want to share with you a personal experience uh, relating to the last few weeks and related to coronavirus. My brother John became seriously ill, was ill at home for a long time uh, with coronavirus and then eventually was taken into hospital over the Easter period and we were very worried as a family about him uh, and uh, my sisters and I and my mother decided it would be really good to pray together. And how would we do that? Well, we did it through Zoom. And every day for uh, nearly two weeks, we set up Zoom calls and, and prayed together. And uh, my mother joined by phone and I was able to phone her and just give her the code and she could phone in uh, to the Zoom call. So we were together and for about 20 minutes uh, each day, we would pray uh, for my brother. And during that time, um, the Lord gave me uh, a really encouraging verse from Psalm 118, verse 16 and 17. And I'll read it for you. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. I will not die, but live, and I will proclaim what the Lord has done. And uh, I was really taken with that uh, verse and felt that was speaking the Lord was speaking into the situation with that verse and uh, incidentally my mother said well I read that verse as well I was thinking about that uh, in relation to John and he has recovered he is living he's back home and uh, getting stronger all the time so we just praise God for that uh, recovery but just really it was just so great to come in a focused way with my family and and pray for my brother The other thing I want to share is not uh, so much personal, but something relating to connections. And one of the things I do is work as a trustee of the London City Mission. And the strap line for London City Mission is taking Jesus to the least reached of London. Uh, and one of the ministries of the London City Mission is to work with homeless people. And they have a big centre called the Webber Street Centre which is close to Waterloo Station. And I was at a board meeting uh, this week, by Zoom of course, and I learned about uh, how LCM are adapting their work at Weber Street, not able to have guests in the centre, but every morning um, delivering a hot breakfast, um, at tables outside uh, the centre, so uh, guests come and take a hot roll, uh, they take sandwich, they take toiletries and fruit and a, fruit and a bar so that they've got uh, food for later in the day. And uh, to start with, there weren't too many uh, people coming because of uh, the provision that was coming through local authorities, the provision of uh, uh, hotel accommodation. But of course, that didn't necessarily come with food. And so the numbers have, have risen. And a good number of the guests are actually in accommodation at the travel lodge also in the waterloo area and uh, so they're quite close by but the connection with the travel lodge is this uh, graham and i are members of the aldershot and farnborough branch of the gideons and within the gideon organization uh, from time to time we have what are called scripture focus events uh, and particularly in london when uh, the needs are so great and there aren't enough uh, people in the Gideon branches to take scriptures to all the hotels, all the bed and breakfasts, all the different uh, places where scriptures can be uh, placed and found. So Graham went on uh, the London Scripture Focus a couple of years ago and uh, he took a lot of Bibles to the Travel Lodge at Waterloo. And when I was just sharing this uh, board meeting experience he said oh I took a load of Bibles to that uh, Travel Lodge and I just thought, well, wouldn't it be wonderful if uh, the people who are staying there, who are usually on the streets um, and perhaps are feeling uh, a little bit bored, although it's good that they've got a hotel room and they've got a bathroom and are probably able to sleep better than they could on the streets. Some of them are finding it quite difficult, quite lonely, quite isolating. But wouldn't it be great if those, uh, some of those people could uh, read the Bibles in their rooms and... Uh, through that uh, find that they begin to think about Jesus and his love for them and uh, through that begin on a journey 
uh, to salvation and faith. So just asking you to join me in praying about the homeless people around Waterloo, the Travel Lodge and uh, the Gideon Bibles, which are there at the moment.